Another fascinating aspect of your research is that it tells you about learning mm -hmm. and how what what is actually happening in the brain yeah. when we're learning. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit more about that? What's sure. going on in the brain when, sure. we, when we learn? Yeah, so that is the question that I was fascinated with when I got to NYU and wanted to know, uh, because I was fascinated with it, because we knew that this key structure important for memory called the hippocampus, that structure um, was really important for learning fast new kinds of information. Just sometimes it, uh, you can learn things on a single trial and it would last for a long time. How does that happen? And what happens to the cells, the brain cells in the hippocampus as you are forming these new uh, new memories, these fast new memories? Not, not memories where it takes you, you know, uh, 50 trials to learn something new, but, but fast new memories. And so what we did is um, we asked animals to learn new associations, new combinations of things, and um, simply recorded uh, the cells in, uh, in the hippocampus as they were learning these things. Basically, we were having them play video games, memory video games. And what we found is, and I'll never forget hearing this for the first time, um, when you're recording from these cells, you can actually hear their activity. And Brain cells communicate by brief bursts of electrical activity called action potentials. And on an audio monitor, it sounds like a little pop. So it's a little, little electrical pop. So it's pop, pop, pop. And um, I was recording from a cell as an animal was learning something new. And the cell didn't care. It was just kind of randomly firing, couldn't tell what was going on, until I noticed that the animal started to learn one of the associations that we asked him to learn. That The specific association is, we would give him a picture of a dog. When the dog came up, he would have to learn that it's the north target that would get him reward. But when the cat came up, it was the south target. So he had to learn these different associations. So let's say he started to learn the dog association. And just at that time, I, saw, I heard that cell start increasing its activity, where before it was kind of random. Every time that dog came up, the cell started really firing like mad. And I thought, that is interesting. And once I noticed that, I realized that, in fact, in about 20% of the cells in the hippocampus, you can see cells start from nothing, no, no relationship if they're firing activity, until the animal learned something, not anything, a particular thing. And then that cell would start to fire. So what does that mean? That means that, for example, if I learn your name, your first and last name, so at first, I'm not going to remember it. Too complicated, don't remember it, and the cells in my hippocampus are not doing anything. But once I learn your name and I get it correct, I will have a net, not just one cell, but a network of hippocampal cells that will start to fire specifically to that learned piece of information. That's what we started to realize as we were doing these recordings, that um, we started to see this network of cells come online as new things were learned. And nobody had had that view of new learning in the hippocampus before. And what's the benefit of that when they all come together like that? What's happening? That's a great question. The benefit is that you form a kind of coherent network of, of cells that, so, so these cells have just basically formed new connections between the dog and that particular target. And um, that is the basis, that network and that firing activity is basically your brain basis of that memory. That is the, the physical instantiation of what that memory is. And we're still trying to understand how that works and how does that, how does that last then for 90 years? Can we see it lasting for 90 years? Those are very, very difficult questions. But what I d identified was basically the brain signature of the birth of a new memory.